Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Well, a happy feast day of the Most Holy Trinity. It's the greatest mystery of our Catholic faith, and today we'll have a chance to ponder it and to see how it applies in our lives, how we enter into it. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. The wisdom of God cries aloud. The Lord created me when his purpose first unfolded before the oldest of his works. From everlasting, I was firmly set. From the beginning, before the earth came into being. The deep was not when I was born. There were no springs to gush with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills, I came to birth. Before he made the earth, the countryside, or the first grains of the world's dust. When he fixed the heavens firm, I was there. When he drew a ring on the surface of the deep, when he thickened the clouds above, when he fixed fast the springs of the deep, when he assigned the sea its boundaries and the waters will not invade the shore, when he laid down the foundations of the earth, I was by his side, a master craftsman, delighting him day after day, ever at play in his presence, at play everywhere 
in his world, delighting to be with the sons of men. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. is mad that you should keep him in mind mortal mad that you care for him than a God with glory and honor you crowned him gave him power over the works of your hand put all things under his feet oh Lord our God how wonderful your name reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, by faith we are judged righteous and at peace with God, since it is by faith and through Jesus that we have entered this state of grace in which we can boast about looking forward to God's glory. But that is not all we can boast about. We can boast about our sufferings, these sufferings bring patience, as we know, and patience brings perseverance, and perseverance brings hope. And this hope is not deceptive, because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I still have many things to say to you, but they would be too much for you now. But when the Spirit of truth comes, he will lead you to the complete truth, since he will not be speaking as from himself but will say only what he has learnt, and he will tell you of the things to come. He will glorify me, since all he tells you will be taken from what is mine. Everything the Father has is mine. That is why I said all he tells you will be taken from what is mine. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I mentioned at the beginning of Mass that the Holy Trinity is the greatest mystery of our Catholic faith. And some think that certain mysteries have been revealed just to tell us that they exist, but to serve nothing else, and then we'll hopefully understand them more in heaven. But that's completely false. Every mystery that has been revealed to us is meant to inform us and help us now to live our lives of faith. So too with the greatest mystery that has been revealed, which is that God is three persons, but one God. 
Now, in the Old Testament, the first half of the Bible, the mystery of the Trinity was never revealed. This has only been revealed with the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Of course, in his public ministry, Jesus spoke about it very much in terms of his Father, and he talked about the Spirit. But the realization that each of these three persons is divine, the same one God, but they're three different persons, this mystery has really been revealed in the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. This is why today the Feast of the Holy Trinity is celebrated immediately after the Feast of Pentecost, which was last week. So how is this feast or this doctrine revealing to us supposed to help us? Well, it means that we in our relationship with God are meant to enter into an individual relationship with each one of these three divine persons. Most of you watching today would be already in a relationship with Jesus Christ. He's the most obvious one because he's there throughout the scriptures and in the, in the gospels, of course. He's the Messiah. But how many of us have a relationship with the Heavenly Father? How many have a relationship with the Holy Spirit? You see, Jesus is our brother, and so we naturally turn to him as our older brother for all that he does for us. He's our Redeemer. He's our Savior. But, you know, when we feel that we need to be fathered, that's when we turn to our Heavenly Father. We ask him to protect us, to watch over us, to shower his love upon us. And then our consoler, our consolation, that inner strength, that courage, that wisdom, that insight that we need from God, that's where the Holy Spirit comes to us and we turn to him. So today's feast is actually a family feast. We're invited to enter into the family of the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And if you haven't already done so, then I invite you today to take that step and to start developing a relationship with each of these three divine persons. And so, my brothers and sisters in Christ, let us now profess our faith, the faith of the Church. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Draw near to us, O Father, as we place these needs before you. That the church will grow in wisdom and be faithful to the message of the gospel. In your mercy. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those with power and authority may be guided by the spirit of truth and love. In your mercy. Lord, Lord hear our prayer that those who search for meaning will encounter the mystery of the triune God. In your mercy. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Eternal triune God, pour forth your love into our hearts and keep us ever faithful. Hear these prayers we make that we might one day enjoy everlasting life with you. We make these prayers through Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. Oh. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore,
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's Mass is proudly sponsored by Guardian Funerals, and Calvary Healthcare. Thank you for your generous support of Mass for You at Home through prayer, messages and financial support. If you are in a position to contribute or contribute again, you can help secure the ongoing future of this vital ministry.